Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to a Q&A video that I've wanted to do for a long time on the channel. I'm actually back home for the day as well. I've been wanting to answer these questions for so long, and uh, if you guys hear any wagon of tails, that's my dogs down there. So time to go to the basement and answer all your questions. Also, for next episode, make sure to comment down below your next questions. Next episode won't be for probably another month or so, but if you have questions, comment them down below. I might reply to some as well, but let's get going. And here we are in my basement. If you guys are actually long-time viewers, you recognize this basement as the first place I started making CSGO News episodes nearly two and a half years ago. And uh, a lot of your questions actually revolved around where I started doing CSGO News, why I started that. I'll answer those later on because they're kind of deeper questions. And I would tell you guys, I'm going to answer in over 30 questions. I, I would tell you it's going to be a longer episode, but you guys know how fast I talk. So first off, for my man Matty Hawk, he does ask, what do you think about the current state of CSGO? I wanted to kind of do like a, a bounce, right? What I, what I first thought about was CSGO right now, it sucks to be a part of. It sucks to be a part of either end of this. Um, the first one is because Valve never responds after making these huge updates. They just leave it out there. Uh, they leave out their email to, for us to reply, you know, to question the seven day trade ban and to email them about it. And they never even post any replies about their thoughts on this, on the subject. So it just, it's like a one way mirror. Like Valve can see us. They can clearly see everyone playing the game, but we can't see anyone at Valve. It really just sucks to be a part of. And right now, um, of course, I actually kind of a surprise. I was going to tweet out about this. It's definitely a declining scene right now for CSGO in terms of the gambling scene being taking huge effects. I can tell you guys personally from conversations I've had with many gambling sites out there, they are struggling a lot more than we all thought they were going to and that also hurts the YouTube con content creators because people like me can't you know we can't really afford to keep on doing YouTube without some of those gambling sponsors from time to time and you might see your other YouTubers your other favorite YouTubers I'm not saying I'm your favorite I probably am definitely not but there's other big YouTubers out there who might stop making content as frequently because it's no longer sponsored which kind of sucks all in all and also even more importantly the trading scene is, is, is absolutely dead I mean CS money makes like two trades a day and, and then they're out of inventory so uh, right now CSGO it sucks to be a part of and I guess I told you guys I was going to talk about earlier, but there's been so many questions about how did I start YouTube? When did I start YouTube? So I'll get right to the point, guys. I've mentioned this in the past as well. Um, kind of to sum it all up for you, I started YouTube actually back in 2010. So I was a freshman in high school. I was about 14 or 15 years old, and I started making RuneScape videos. So I'm just going to answer all these questions in a row. Like four or five people, if not more, asked all about this. So I started back in 2010. I've been doing it for just about eight years now. I started doing RuneScape videos, and that's why my name you ever just hear a sound in your house just randomly and think you, you're you about to die? Anyway, that's why my name is actually Legit RS Giving. Legit RuneScape Giving is what it stands for. My first ever YouTube channel, and that's why my Twitter uh, was actually, that's the handle of my Twitter and my YouTube page because I first started out doing RuneScape and I was doing a bunch of giveaways to try and get subscribers. So, and then eventually I actually changed. I actually, I think I got close to 4,000 subscribers from RuneScape alone. I transitioned into CSGO News. So to give you guys the full details about that, I was actually during a spring break, my friend Noah, one of my best friends from early on in my, my uh, on high school as well as college, uh, he actually had me babysit his dogs at his house to do, uh, to just, you know, babysit the dogs. I actually stayed at his house for seven days or, you know, five or six days straight. And it was there I got so bored. I was watching four dogs at one time and I was just so incredible, or it was three dogs. I can't remember the numbers exactly, but I was just so incredibly bored all day sitting there for 24 hours straight every single day. And I wasn't really, I wasn't really sure what to do with myself. So I went up one day and I don't know where I started this, guys. I have no idea what I Googled, what I looked up to actually actually, you know, initiate this, but eventually I went up to his laundry room, I had posted notes, and I recorded myself saying CSGO score lines for matches. I posted to YouTube, it got more views than a lot of my RuneScape videos, and ever since that day, I was CSGO News. I just, I thought there was a niche in the market. Uh, very early on, people told me I was like the scarce of CSGO, so I thought, okay, it must be doing something right, and very early on, I had a lot of haters, because I was doing some really weird videos, and so that's how I became CSGO News. Thanks, Noah, I will always appreciate you and love you for that. And that leads into other major question people asked a lot about what are your plans for the future do you plan on doing YouTube full-time is YouTube a part-time job or a hobby what do you want to do in the future after you graduate college now the real thing is I want to talk about and by the time you guys see this episode in two weeks time I will be officially graduated from college which is it, it's incredibly stressful but also uh, and also nerve-wracking but on top of that it's, it's, it's kind of it's I'm ready I'm ready to be done with it and move on with my life uh, on top of that for all of you guys who are curious my education I do have a double major so I have a bachelor's in both marketing and management I'd say it's pretty decent my GPA is, is also pretty solid and I think my background with YouTube and all that does align me well for the future either inside esports or inside marketing and management somewhere I have yet to find a full-time job so people out there asking is, is YouTube your full-time job certainly not do I want to continue doing YouTube for the rest of my life or as, as long as I can certainly I do and I, I definitely will so I think the one thing you guys can take away from CSGO news so far is I have never had a, a solid sponsor I've never had a sponsor that's been there for a long long period of time and I still upload content 
So whether I'm getting paid or whether I'm not making any money off YouTube, I will still do CSGO news. I love getting views. I love seeing comments. I love interacting with people. So yes, this will be a full-time thing. Will it be the full-time thing supporting me? Certainly not. I'm going to look for a job inside esports. I've been applying to several colleges out there, other universities, other major organizations, trying to be, the, the main thing I want to focus on is be some sort of community manager, some sort of affiliate marketer or social media strategist. I want to be involved with people. I love meeting people. I love talking to people. And I think that in general, my ideas for the future of esports are strong enough to propel me forward. So if anyone out there is watching right now and they want a community manager for their game or for their esport, please reach out to me. I'm quite desperate. Is pineapple on pizza a sin? I think there's going to be a 50-50 line out there of some diehard pineapple pizza fans. I'm going to say it's not a sin, but it's not a preference by this guy. I love pizza. I don't have it too often, though. Oh, good luck, guys. You'd have to play for a couple solid hours to get as good as I am at CSGO. Uh, people don't really realize I was actually silver one when I first placed in CSGO. I made a lot of progress. Yes, I am. I have a good set of friends who are very good at CSGO who have maybe, maybe boosted my rank. <laughs> My man, Gamertag, one of my favorite people out there in my Discord, which is also linked down below, guys. Um, my favorite music besides John Bellion, I do want to quickly say, John Bellion is by far and away my favorite, favorite artist out there, the most creative guy to watch. If you guys have never seen his YouTube videos about how he makes his music, look up John Bellion, J-O-N Bellion. It, it is incredible stuff. Besides that, though, I, I can't really choose a favorite style of music or a favorite artist out there. I think NF is a pretty good rapper. Besides that, though, I love, you know, Shawn Mendes. I do enjoy One Direction songs. I I'm making myself look kind of weird. <laughs> it's been a disturbing meme on this channel where not only does it people do people comment down below daddy but also in my streams very frequently or in my comment section people will just defiantly say yo dad what's up or hey daddy or hey Jake am I your son or Jake I am your son like they say it so so convincingly I almost think for a second that maybe I do have kids out there but no for anyone who's asking, guys, I'm not a dad, I'm not your dad, and I think if your dad saw you commenting, am I your dad, he'd be weirded out by this whole situation. So, I beg you to stop. I know it's not going to stop, but this is a really good question. Do I think PUBG is going to be the new skin monopoly? I seriously, down to my bottom of my heart, guys, I do not think that this is going to save PUBG. I think PUBG is still a dying battle royale game out there, and CSGO, from its roots, never needed gambling or, or skins to continue, and those skins still hold their value. I actually invested right after the huge drop into some CSGO skins, and right now I'm doing you know decently well in terms of them holding their price, if not you know going back up a little bit. Um, I do think for the future of gambling, this could this could hurt the game of CSGO, but when you're talking about longevity of these games, CSGO will certainly outlast PUBG, and I don't think this is going to save PUBG in any way. I think a lot of people now that are that are playing PUBG are realizing that th their numbers are quite boosted. Those people aren't actually playing PUBG. They're on PUBG uh, for the whole skin aspect of it. But again, it could be, it, of course, it's probably helping PUBG, and it's definitely hurting CSGO, but in terms of longevity, CSGO is, is still the go-to. Now this is the kind of questions that I want. People always ask questions about CSGO and YouTube and how stupid I am or you know, just random questions. But this is a great one. What would you do guys? Because we all know eventually AI is gonna take over. What would you do, where would you go, and where would you resettle? Well I currently live in the Midwest of America and let me tell you, there's just farmland on farmland. I got neighbors who have guns. I think I stay here guys. I know that I know how to plant some corn guys. Three inches down, three inches apart. I think we could survive for a while. This is a really good one. What motivates me to stay positive? You know, it's it, it's kind of funny. I don't want to go on too, too long of a rant for this one, and this video is going to already be way too long. I have, I've I've been struggling a lot with being positive. You know, you run into a lot of comments out there, and you don't really realize how it affects you until you make content of your own and you, and you and you see the negative comments. You know, you guys, from an outside perspective, you see someone say, this sucks. But when you're a content creator and you actually make the video or you make whatever it is and they comment on it and you see it from a whole different perspective, it takes a toll. And I think I've noticed this the most with gambling YouTubers, CSGO gamblers, how they seem to be affected emotionally very heavily by this kind of thing because day in, day out, all their comments are about, can you give me a free knife? Can you give me a free skin? I don't have to face those comments, but I definitely face a lot of backlash for my past actions. Um, how do I stay positive? You find goals. You set yourself goals outside of the game, outside of YouTube itself. You need to find goals in life besides the things that you're, that you're currently looking at. So um, for me, myself, I love to work out. I, that's how I stay positive. Every day I work out, whatever it's a run, going for a quick lift, whatever it might be, set yourself a goal and I promise you, if you achieve those goals, you'll be happy. So don't just don't stay focused on one road. Diversify yourself, set yourself multiple goals. That way when you achieve those goals, you'll have different streams of happiness. That was deep. That was a good answer, Jake. 
call me stupid, but I think a CSGO Battle Royale mode, as it was hinted at a long time ago, I think that would do really well right now. Just a different game mode in CSGO where you can have leveling up in some in some sense, like Battle Royale, just a, a different way to level up and keep you uh, interactive, because um, I feel like matchmaking is getting very repetitive for a lot of people out there. This question makes me think of uh, Lil, Lil Dicky's new song, Freaky Friday, at the end. It's Kendall Jenner, is that the right one? It might be Kylie Jenner, I don't know. It, one of the Jenners where she's like, She's talking about how she has a, you know, or Lil Dicky's in her body talking about how she, how he has a, you know what I'm, I'll play the quick, I hope this doesn't get demonetized, but you know what, screw it, I'll show you guys a clip. Holy shit, I got a vagina. Oh, I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna understand the inner workings of a woman. And that was so awkward, so no, I would ne I don't want to change my gender. I'm, I'm good the way I am. <sighs> I'm 32. Next week, next week, so I'm 31. Now this was one of my best ones yet, and I do I do apologize guys, for all of you who asked really good questions, I'm gonna send out like five keys to five people who asked really good questions. This is hopefully one of them I, re I remember to do so. This is a very good question. Could you do in the future a sort of draw your life, you know, kind of explain to you guys who really care where I came from, you know, how I how I started in, you know, in business, and then went to eSports, and then CSGO News, and so forth. Um, I I'm really wanna do this in the future, so you guys remind me, and I hopefully will do this. Um, I'm not really sure how I do that video, I'm not really like artistic at all, but I would love to do that. Yes, because I, I want you guys to know where I came from and, and where, how I got to where I am today. Try my best, guys. Try here in the Midwest, U.S. There are no stadiums, no esports arenas, so it's very tough. Even when there's actually a CS:GO event, whether it's a major or even like a smaller event, uh, it's very hard to get to. The closest one's actually in Texas, and that's a 15-hour drive. And I don't have money. I I know you guys, you know, might think I make a ton of money off YouTube. I certainly don't. I don't have a job yet, so um, I, it's really hard to afford to fly anywhere. So um, I want to go to a CS:GO event sometime in the future. Will it be a major? Probably not. Will it be a smaller event? Maybe. I, I hope to go, guys. Hope to save up for that. Right now, my focus is on paying off my school tuition, though. I know I touched on this a bit in the, in the earlier part of the video, but I, my dream job is somewhere in esports. I kind of want to stress that a lot. I, I want a dream job somewhere in esports, whether it's a PR manager, community manager, anything with personal relations and involvement in the community, whether it's for a video game. I think I applied to several video games out there. Um, so, like the Clash of Clans makers, they're known as Supercell. I applied for them. I got declined really fast. <laughs> God dang it. I'm MG2. No. And I, no. Andy's hitting us with weird questions today, okay? He, he clearly says, if, if money no longer has value, what non-inanimate object would you then put value into? That's a super tough question. I would say, if you guys seen the Justin Timberlake movie, so if money no longer meant anything, and any inanimate object could not hold value, what would hold value, guys? That's a really weird, because you know, that, okay, time. Time is what everyone needs, guys. You need more time. So I would say time is what has value, and then you go around and you uh, start stealing people's time and you start killing people for their time. Not that I would kill anyone, but I would definitely get killed. People would take my time right away. Yes, definitely yes. The only problem with this is I've already shaved my head. So there's like, there's not a lot of other challenges out there. I could shave my eyebrows, because you guys are weird and you want me to do that. I could shave my legs, that'd be easy enough. I'm currently looking for other charities out there. Um, I kinda want, I kinda, I need to focus though on, on you know, of, of other things for now but in the future I do want to raise money for charity obviously uh, the only problem right now is though is all of my sponsors who were for the last charity stream they have contacted me and said they are currently struggling financially in terms of uh, wanting to support that kind of thing so obviously a huge amount of money that would be donated would come from sponsors and if they can't afford that I don't want to set up something that's gonna be you know just a I want, if I'm gonna go for a charity, I wanna go all in, and I wanna make sure I have enough money raised where it's gonna be a substantial amount. So yes, sometime in the future, guys, uh, comment down below any charities that should help. I think a video game charity would be a relevant one in the future sometime soon. Yes, I am, yes, thank you. I am a freaking mad lad. I'm glad you finally appreciate that. And also this next guy, that, this dude comments on almost every one of my videos telling me to tell him that I love him, and I, I still don't, but keep it up. You're, I like the effort. No, I, uh, I love where I am. Uh, I guess the next question being that. I, I just, I love where I'm at right now with CSGO News. I know my views aren't crazy, but I like my viewers and I like my comment section. It's, it's pretty healthy, so I would not change. Um, also, next question, favorite skin is, I've always said the Hyper Beast. Either it's on the M4 or the, uh, the Op. I love the Hyper Beast skin, a lot of detail in that skin. Of course, though, I do want to clarify, there's tons of great skins. Everyone always asks me, what's your favorite skin? There are countless good skins out there, guys. I only chose this question because you could tell he's being sincere 
about it. Most people who actually ask me this question are being sarcastic because they know I've actually taken on gambling sponsors in the past. Um, I really want to very, very well stress when I first started doing YouTube, especially with CSGO News, and I had that rise of viewership, I was extremely immature. I was calling out other YouTubers for having CSGO gambling sponsors, and I had I had no clue what I was doing. And I, that was very, very hypocritical of me. I have not had many gambling sponsors in the past few months, and I, I would say I've had far, far less than the majority of YouTubers, so I'm proud of that. Um, but why I didn't ever go with gambling is because for me, uh, it always hurt my viewership. If it would have worked out, I probably would do more of it. But for me personally, I've never really been good at making gambling content, so um, I just don't do it that much. <laughs> A non-loyal viewer we have here, huh? Ah, someone's not watching all the videos. I don't blame you though, because it, for some stupid reason, YouTube YouTube algorithms. Like I did my charity video. I thought it was an amazing video uh, where we raised over six thousand dollars for charity. Um, that's why I shaved my head, by the way. And pretty much no one saw it, but it's still on my channel. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, maybe I'll link it down below if I remember to. But yeah, that's why I shaved my my hair fell out. Um, favorite favorite battle royale game? Probably gonna. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna regret saying this, but probably Fortnite. I don't like it that much, so don't worry. I'm not one of those people who's like gonna force down Fortnite down your throat like every other YouTuber right now. I won't have YouTube, uh, Fortnite content, but I do play with my friends, and it's actually, it's decently fun, but I think PUBG is a close second. Like, they're pretty much the same thing for me, honestly. <laughs> humans! I eat humans! It's funny, because uh, my relatives are actually cannibals. I wish I was joking when I said that. Oh, demonetize. All right, last couple questions. Honestly, if you guys made it through the entire Q&A, you are legit legends. Please comment down below, like in the comment down below that you made it or something because you guys are awesome if you watch all this. I don't know why you would be so interested in my life. But anyway, favorite alcoholic drink, I, I got to go with vodka. Like there's no vodka Red Bull. I, I know it's, I can't even, I, there's nothing else that compares for me. So, but don't drink if you're underage. Seriously, it's so bad for you. I don't, I shouldn't have even mentioned this question, honestly. And, on, and I wanted to say this for the last one. This is actually a really good question. You know, my overall goals for YouTube, of course, one day was to break 100K. I'm definitely on the path, but it's like a, you know, it's like a really, really hard path to get to. And I do want to expand in the future. I think the, like, the cool part is people don't really realize, you know, people say if CSGO dies, your channel dies. That's definitely not true because all these pro players that I cover news on, they got to go somewhere, right? And and we have, of course, the up and coming CSGO pro players that I'm going to cover news on in the future. And whatever esport they choose next, that's what my channel is going to be. I, I think it's really cool for me to see as well. Like people say like, oh, this is your full-time job, you're screwed. Well, it's not, like it's a hobby, it's a side job. Um, I make a small, small, small amount of money to the point where it almost doesn't, it doesn't affect me, you know, whether I make money or not. Of course, it's nice to have a sponsor from, that, from now and then, but if I don't have a sponsor, I'm still gonna upload the video. So that's the great part, but on top of that, like, it's it's so cool because let's for instance people like get right are gonna retire soon you know from CSGO but other other players out there the up-and-coming you know rising stars they're gonna go somewhere when CSGO is is gone long and gone and I again I, I still think CSGO has a solid three four or five years in the future but when it does go I'll, I'll have some other means of you know I'll still be a, I want to report news I want to of course you know share stuff with you guys and interact with you guys so I don't think my channel is going anywhere um, in terms of other esports, though, I just have no idea because once you go to other esports, you need to learn more about their scene, their meta, the, the game itself. And I've finally almost grasped CSGO enough to actually talk about it. Almost. I still make plenty of mistakes, which is the crazy part. So for now, I'm going to stick with CSGO. In the future, wherever the pros go, I will surely be there to follow. All right, guys, that's going to do for today's episode of, uh, I guess you could say, CSGO Q&A. If you guys did make it, you guys are absolutely awesome. Sorry, just, you know close out these questions on my computer here but uh, honestly I don't know how long this video is gonna be probably one of my longest videos in a long time I love Q&A's I, I love being home alone and making Q&A's because I can just answer and be so free and open and honest and just like not worry about it anyway hope you guys are all doing well my name is Jake and uh, as always I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow with more CSGO news and if you guys have any video ideas for me you know videos you want to see comment down below and uh, okay goodbye